In this lesson, I'd like to look back at a revised version of my uh, Optic Pathways Visual Fields diagram so we can go back and look at this again. Um, I've expanded it just a little bit to show some more detail. And I'm just going to remind as we start uh, filling this out that if a patient comes in, they don't know anything about retinal fields um, and optic pathways. What they can tell you is where they can't see or you can register this in a vision test. So I'm going to begin by writing in here M in blue for the medial visual field. I'm going to draw an arrow which would actually strike the lateral retinal field. Um, so we're going to use blue in this instance and then the medial visual field here striking the lateral retinal field and I'm going to draw another little blue dot here. Now your lateral visual fields will strike the medial retinal field and so the information actually sent from here will be traveled differently. So let's take the meet the lateral visual fields information and we're going to come down the optic nerve into the optic chiasm and cross over into the contralateral optic tract. And we'll do the same thing here. Into the optic nerve, optic chiasm, cross over into the contralateral optic tract. Now, the medial visual field information is carried ipsilateral, so it stays in the same pathway. So it is ipsilateral. So we got the pathways all drawn in here, and I'm going to use red, and I'm going to draw in a, a various lesions, uh, various damages. So I'm going to draw this one, and this will be lesion A. I'm going to draw lesion B here. I'm going to draw lesion C directly through the middle of the optic chiasm. Then I'm going to draw lesion D laterally through the optic chiasm. So we have these associated lesions. So let's begin with A, and we're going to trace A out to see where we'd be blind in. So A is cut through the left optic nerve. So if we take the green line and we follow it here, you note know that, okay, let me use some uh, dots here. Here, we hit the lesion. That information doesn't go. Let's come out here. We hit the lesion. That information doesn't go. That means... Lesion A will result in complete blindness in both eyes. Or at least, sorry, rather, the uh, uh, complete blindness, I uh, drew in the wrong eye here, complete blindness in the right eye. So, uh, rather, our left eye. So we have the left eye here. We're going to color him in. Completely red, we have complete blindness in the eye that it is uh, associated with because that optic nerve has been damaged. Lesion B is a lesion through the optic tract here, and the optic tract, if we want to take this, we follow it out, you see that here, this is information that has come from this. So we are blind in the lateral visual field of the right eye. So let's go to the right eye for B and color in the lateral visual field of the right eye. We're blind on that part. And now we're going to look at it, all the blue one again, and we are blind in the medial visual field of the left eye. Let's color this in red. Now we'll come down and look at lesion C. Lesion C cuts right through the optic chiasm and it destroys, if we follow this, take the lateral visual field, I've hit lesion C. Follow this one, I've hit lesion C, but notice that the medial visual field information goes intact uninterrupted by lesion C. So C will result in what we call tunnel vision where we've lost the lateral visual fields of both eye and this is tunnel vision. So damage to the optic chiasm such as um, um, a tumor in the pituitary gland, 
um, or an aneurysm in the uh, anterior communicating artery of the cerebral atrial circle of Willis will generate um, uh, what we call uh, tunnel vision. Now, lesion D, this one's kind of interesting. Let's follow the lateral visual field of this eye. We hit lesion D. Okay, so we are blind in the medial visual field of the left eye. Okay, one eye. Now let's follow it here. Medial visual field. We've uh, done that. Lateral visual field. Oh, we hit the lesion. Okay, so we are blind in the lateral visual field. So complete blindness in the left eye. What else? Okay, let's take the medial visual field of the right eye. I hit the lesion. All right, so what we do here, medial visual field, color him in. All right, we are blind there. Let's come back and let's look at the lateral visual field of that eye. I'm going to follow it down. Oops, I hit the lesion. So we have complete and total blindness. So, these are all the ones you guys would ever see at this level. There are some other ones. If you go deep into the occipital lobe of the brain, you can end up with quarter losses of vision, all processes, as these all radiate out in the occipital lobe. But this is really all I want you guys to know at the Human Anatomy and Physiology 2 level. So, this concludes my more complex video on the, medial, the visual fields, optic pathways, and associated lesions. Thank you.